this is Nancy at A Crone's Intuition, and I was getting my decks ready for um, uh, being with Heather this, this evening um, with our Divine Feminine show that we have. And um, I was looking on the internet, and I, I found something that, that I think is really interesting, and, and I thought maybe you all might be interested in it. Um, this um, was written by Elizabeth Kipp, K-I-P-P, -P, and she has, there's a, there's a hyphen between her name, elizabeth-kipp.com is where you can find her. And it is an ancestral clear, clearing prayer for the Divine Feminine Rising. And I thought I would read it to you all. Um, because I, I love doing uh, ancestral work, and I thought that uh, this was very, very interesting. And it um, kind of tells the history of the Divine Feminine. Um, so here it is. Higher Power, Creator, Divine Mother, Ma, Spider Woman, White Buffalo Calf Woman, Kali, Mary Magdalene, Bridget, Lakshmi, Kuan Yin, Divi, all that is. You go by many names, and you are one. We thank you for the many blessings you shower upon us. Thank you for loving us. We ask humbly for all our ancestors through all time, space, dimensions, realms, lives, lifetimes and incarnations for all the times we were robbed of our innocence our vulnerability com compromised and left in ruins our voices silenced and when we allowed our power to be stolen from us for any and all transgressions against us in times we transgressed against others Please help us to forgive one another for what happened and for all that arose in the lineage because of these events. Help us to forgive ourselves, please and thank you. For all the times we naturally moved into our creativity and our powers and were pushed down, rubbed out, made to feel inadequate, demeaned, devalued, made to feel utterly insignificant and for the times we believe these things to be true of us or others please help us to forgive one another and ourselves please and thank you for the times our breasts ran dry of precious milk for our children for the times we returned from the fields empty-handed for the times we couldn't find the medicines needed to help heal our loved ones for all the suffering that ensued because of these things and all that arose in the lineage as a result, please help us to forgive each other and forgive ourselves. Please and thank you. For the times the men were jealous of our powers to birth life and for the times they took it out on us and our children, and for any of these fits of rage that pass down the lineage, please help us to forgive each other and ourselves for all of it, no matter what. Please and thank you. For all sexual abuse, times we and our families were pillaged and disgraced, times we had our very homes and the shirts off our backs taken from us, for the times we had to lead our community to new land and lost our way for all the people we saw perish along the way? Please help us all to forgive one another and ourselves and please forgive us for any time we turned our backs on you. Please and thank you. For all the times of difficulty and loss and childbearing and birthing, for all the times we felt incapable to be mothers, sister, aunts, wives, grandmothers, midwives, healers, friends, and companions, we knew we had been made to be, and for anyone who contributed to this, 
Please help us all to forgive each other and ourselves. Please and thank you. For all the times we felt out of balance with you and felt we lost our way as we tried to regain our grounding with you, for the times we took without asking or others took from us without asking, for any time any of us or our children disrespected you or any of your creations, please help us all to forgive each other and ourselves. Please and thank you. For the times we fought with our own inner child, we were unable to connect to our inner power nor reach our potential. And for the times we lost our humility and fell short of integrating ourselves and maturing into wholeness, please help us to forgive ourselves. Please and thank you. Please help us all to find unity within and radiate it out to the rest of the world. Help us through our forgiveness to know the liberation of our entire lineage and pass that vibration out to all our descendants. Please and thank you. Help us to see each other and ourselves through your eyes. Help us to find peace with one another and ourselves. Help us to release the shackles of the past, rise up in our full radiance, and take our rightful place in the world. Help us to love one another and ourselves now and forever. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Please and thank you. Amen. I talk about ancestors a lot and about how we're the product of thousands upon thousands. It's not just our great grandma and great grandpa. It's all of these thousands upon thousands of our ancestors that went before us. Um, and without them, we wouldn't be here. I mean, we are the product of thousands of people that came together and lived their lives and had families. And when I read this, it brings home what they suffered. And, you know, a lot of times we don't think about that. But this is kind of like a, a, a history of ancestral pain. And it's a prayer of forgiveness. And I just wanted to, to thank you um, for listening to this, if you made it all the way through. And um, to really contemplate um, what this means for you in your spiritual path as you connect with your spirit guides and your angels and your, your ancestors. And again, <clears throat> that is Elizabeth hyphen kip.com and uh, it is the ancestral clearing prayer for the divine feminine rising this is nancy at a crone's intuition and i wish you many many blessings namaste my precious friends